This is the improved 555 Delta Sigma modulator circuit. The improvement is these two transistors, a PNP and an NPN, uh, with a, another resistor added to the feedback. That provides a regulated current, which turns the timing capacitor into a two, true integrator, as opposed to the RC time constant integrator that it is uh, by default. We still have the voltage to current converter on the left hand side here, input audio, uh, a little bit of an output filter now, and uh, driving my very nice high quality ripped out of the clock radio speakers. On the scope, you can see uh, the top trace is the voltage across our timing capacitor. Uh, the bottom trace is the input signal. There is no input signal, so we've got a nice triangle wave. That's due to the current feedback as opposed to the RC feedback uh, traditionally on a 555. We'll add a little signal. Uh, perhaps. And you can see the triangle wave starts to dance around a little bit. As we get more signal modulation, the uh, wave distorts more and more. It is again uh, not just a pulse width modulation or a um, frequency modulation, it, it's a little of both. The frequency changes as well as the duty cycle. This is the circuit as tested. Uh, I've got performance numbers THD plus N if you look on the website. And a very simple basic building block uh, made out of a 555. Useful for a Class D audio amplifier. You can use this for A to D converters. Uh, anytime you need to convert an analog signal into the digital domain with the 555, uh, send the pulse train over optical link, whatever. Uh, nice little building block. Uh, thanks for looking.